Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk not only about the degree of individual vertices, but also the sum of the degrees and how it's important in sociology. In a previous video, we found the degree of each vertex of graph H here. For example, vertex A has a degree of zero because it doesn't touch any edges. And the degree of a vertex is exactly the number of edges that meet at that vertex. Vertex B, on the other hand, touches four edges, so it has a degree of four. Vertex C has a degree of three, and so on. What we're going to do next is to find the sum of the degrees. So we're going to add zero plus four plus three plus one plus three plus two plus five. Zero and four is four, plus three is seven, plus one is eight, plus three is 11, plus two is 13, plus five is 18. So what's the significance of this sum? The sum of the degrees is the number of times that an edge meets a vertex in the entire graph. That happens 18 times in this graph. Now let's suppose that we drew a graph to represent the social connections amongst a group of seven individuals. Let's start by finding the degrees of each vertex. Vertex A is in contact with only one edge, so it has degree one. Vertex B is in contact with two edges, the one leading to A and the one leading to C, so it has degree two. C has degree one, two, three. D also has degree 3, E also has degree 3, F has degree 2, and G has degree 2. So let's find the sum. We have 1 and 2 is 3, and 3 is 6, and 3 is 9, and 3 is 12, and 2 is 14, and 2 would be 16. So there are 16 connections between an edge and a vertex in this graph. In the context of social connections, this is really the number of friends or acquaintances or colleagues that a person has. So A has one friend, person B has two, person C has three, and so on. Now let's suppose that we revisited the same group of people, maybe a few months or a year later, and we drew a graph to represent who was socializing amongst the seven people at this point. Let's find the degree of each vertex now. Person A has two friends, person B has three, person C has two, person D has three. E appears to have one, two, three, four, five friends now. Person F has three, and person G has two. Let's go ahead and find the sum. So two plus three is five, plus two is seven, plus three is 10, plus five is 15, plus three is 18, plus two is 20. So one of the things that a sociologist is concerned about is how resilient the group is. In other words, how likely it is that the group will kind of stick together and still have connections. So if we think about graph J, which is a point in time in the past where this particular group had 16 connections between an edge and a vertex. And then time has passed. Some of the individuals have made more friends in the group and some have lost some connections. But overall, the number of connections has increased to 20. So which group do you think would be more likely to be resilient? Well, a greater sum of degrees represents more connections and a more resilient social group. One way to understand this is to think about if a connection is lost, what impact does that have on the group? So for example, in graph J, if we were to lose the connection between B and C, then both A and B would have no social ties to the rest of the group. In, in essence, the group has fallen apart. Whereas if we lose the connection between B and C in graph K, there are enough other connections to compensate so that B and A are still part of this social group. Or consider a scenario where G and D lose their connection. So in graph J, when G and D lose their direct connection, in order for G to get the social benefit of networking with D, information has to be passed from G to F to E and then to D and back. So there's a greater number of degrees of separation between them than in graph K where there are only 
two edges to travel between G and D. We can go for, from G to E and then to D to get the same benefit. So even though the group wasn't broken apart completely, the social benefit's been decreased more when one connection is lost. So sociologists can use the sum of degrees as a predictor of the resilience of a social group. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Ms. Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos. I also hope that you get to view my next video, which is about the sum of degrees theorem, which relates the number of edges to the sum of the degrees.